what's up? Chad Wright coming at you here once again on the channel, Team Righteous. And so today we're working on another first gen Hayabusa. This one is an 06 limited edition Hayabusa. Uh, customer brought the bike to us uh, to get some upgrades, to get a little bit, of, little bit of stuff done to the engine. And we ended up freshening the engine up, uh, had to do a little bit of a rebuild. He ended up having a spun main bearing it actually happened on him as he was coming to the shop. So, perfect timing. He picked the exact perfect time to re rebuild his engine. So anyways, uh, we're gonna fire this thing up here in a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about what's going on inside the engine. But first, I wanna let y'all know that now, Team Righteous, uh, Ringer 57, and 57 Motorsports, we are now an affiliate with Brock's Performance. So, a lot of y'all know about Brock's Performance. If you don't, uh, check out their YouTube channel and you can learn a whole lot of stuff. I've learned a lot over the years before I ever even really got into working on bikes too much for anybody else, just working on my own. I learned a lot from Brock's. Uh, I learned about you know how to make things work and things like that but there. Learn how to make power. Uh, and the things that they do, all the R&D they go into with, uh, with their products and stuff. And so anyways, uh, we teamed up with them today. And so I wanna let y'all know about that. So if you want to save some money, on some products from Brock's Performance. And it doesn't even have to be Brock's Performance products, it's anything they sell on their website. So you can save uh, 5% by clicking the link down below and using the code TEAMRIGHTEOUS5. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we use for our bikes to help us to gain uh, just a little bit more edge over the competition uh, when we're out there. So if those of y'all that don't know, a lot of people know about air filters. There are a lot of air filters out there that uh that you have to clean and stuff like that with there you got to oil it down and honestly it just doesn't perform even like the stock paper filters do uh it's been shown on dynos that the stock paper filters can perform equal to or greater than some of those other filters out there that are like that but if you really want to step up to to the best you got to use sprint so uh check these guys right here out so we've been using sprint filters all year uh all of our bikes that, that run uh, the air filters like that can run these air filters do. Uh, we all run sprint air filters and it cannot be matched. Uh, and I'm fixing to show you why. So a lot of you know, whenever you're looking at an air filter, how do you check to see if it's good or not? Well, you shine it up to the light uh, and you look and see, you know, can I see through it? Does it have, you know, is it getting blocks, you know, from getting a lot of dirt in it? And that's generally what you do with an air filter. Well, this right here, check this right here out. That's right, you can see clean through that right there. This is the Sprint, hope I don't mess this right up, P08F185 air filter. Uh, they are sold on Brock's Performance, and you can click the link down below uh, to get that. So, those air filters. Uh, they do open up more airflow, and especially at top end speeds. Uh, whenever the ram air of your bike starts taking effect, it really starts performing even more. Uh, so a lot of you guys out there that roll race and stuff, those are really gonna help you out. Also, Allison Less Than Zero. If you don't know about this kind of oil right here, it is the best on the market. Uh, as far as, you know, all motorbikes, street bikes, stuff like that over there. Uh, and we mix it with the Petron Plus here. So we put the two together when we do an oil change on uh, all of our street bikes. So any, any street bikes we have, I don't do it on Dragonfly, we don't do it on the Wraith because we spray nitrous on them. And this right here is definitely too thin of weight of oil for spraying nitrous, but they do make heavier weight oils. Uh, so we do use you know heavier weight oil when we do, or for our nitrous bikes. So anyways, Allison less than zero, uh, frees up horsepower. And this is all stuff just to gain an edge. You know, if you can get two to three horsepower out of an air filter, two to three, four horsepower out of an oil change, I mean, there's, you know, four to five, maybe six horsepower that you're freeing up. And this is stuff you gotta have anyways. You gotta have an air filter, you gotta have oil. So why would you not run the best and gain, you know, an edge over your competition? Because they're all pretty much gonna be kind of running the same things as you are but they may not know about you know, some of the things that we do. And then last but not least, the good old Brock's Performance Exhaust. You cannot beat it. And uh, we just now put this alien head here on, uh, on our customer's bike. 
and um, it's uh, it was the one that used to be on the Dragonfly. So we put it on this customer's bike here, and you can get this right here as well on the link down below and save money on it when you purchase it through that link. So, without further ado, we're going to fire up this bike here for the first startup. Uh, let it, you know, warm up. We're going to break it in. We're going to do our break-in procedure like we normally do. I've talked about this before in the past, so we're going to go over that. You know, what do we do to break in an engine whenever it's a brand new engine? When it's got new bearings in it and everything, or a brand new bike off the showroom floor, how would we break it in? So we're going to go all over all of that uh, today as we go with this uh, engine here. So anyways, we're going to get it ready, get it fired up, and then we'll go over it. See ya. All right, y'all, so we're back here with uh, the Hayabusa that we're doing the break-in procedure on. So we're going to uh, work on that right there. Anyways, we got to start it up. We're going to show y'all a little bit about how we do our break-in procedure, and then I'll talk to y'all about that in just a second. y'all there you go we got the uh, uh that's the fourth break-in cycle we've put in on this engine since we got started up so what we generally do when we're looking to uh to break an engine in is we're putting it through heat cycles so a lot of people go by what the manufacturer recommends and you know i think they generally recommend like four to five hundred miles of easy riding and just cruising around and not get it above a bunch of you know certain rpms or anything, anything like that right there and so what we generally do is just like you saw me do there is you bring the rpms up and you're varying the rpms just like if you just ride it down the road uh so you're doing the sort of the same break-in procedure we just go through it a little bit faster and so we're varying the rpms and we're letting everything kind of settle in where it's going to settle to and then after we do uh about 10 of those like maybe six six or seven or whatever we'll start actually getting out and riding on the street uh to ride it out you know around town and everything make sure it's going to ride out good and everything's doing very well and then once it's got you know say 10 uh good heat cycles put in on it roughly about 100 miles then we're going to strap it here on the dyno and see how much power we can get out of it so anyways i just wanted to bring that to y'all and let y'all know about like i said uh in the beginning of the video about the deal with brock's so if you're looking to save some money on some Brock's products, like the ones I showed you before, uh, window links, any other products that Brock's Performance sells on their website, be sure to check the link down below in the description and put in the code TEAMRIGHTEOUS5 and you can save 5% on your products at Brock's Performance. So anyways, uh, anybody else, you know, if you want to drop down in the comments below, how do you go through your break-in procedure on your engine? You know, what kind of look have you had with that? We've heard from different people that say whenever they go through the factory procedure, then when they hit the dyno, they're actually making less power than the bikes that go out there and kind of do them like we do, where they break them in within 10 heat cycles. They put, say, maybe 50, 75 miles, 100 miles on them, whatever. And once they got that out there, they're ready to go. Uh, that's the way we've done before with all of our engines. Uh, immediately, Dragonfly had about six or seven heat cycles in it. Started testing it on the street just a little bit and immediately went to the dyno when we done that in the previous video. Uh, the Wraith, exact same way. We done a few heat cycles on it and started riding on the street trying to break it in. And we was actually tuning it back then on the street before we, were at, before we ever had our dyno. And so now that we got our dyno, immediately this one is going to do the exact same thing that ours did. It's going to go through those heat cycles and then it's going to hit the dyno. So anyways, appreciate all y'all 
and we'll see you at the next one.